Since 1962, Daresbury Laboratory has pushed the boundaries of modern science. Over 50 years on, it is internationally recognised for world-leading scientific excellence in a diverse variety of fields, from nuclear physics to supercomputing. Daresbury also contains several kinds of particle accelerators used for cutting-edge research across a wide range of disciplines. This includes medical experimentation, particularly around radiotherapy and X-ray technology. Particle accelerators are regularly used in radiotherapy, primarily to treat cancers. One of the biggest advances in radiotherapy in recent years has been that we now try and conform the dose to the tumour. So if you imagine this, we shape the radiation dose around the tumour so that we can actually put in as much damage to the tumour and as little damage to the healthy tissue, which enables us to give patients a treatment that gives them fewer side effects and better outcomes. Radiotherapy delivers radiation to the tumour in a number of different ways. Protons deposit their dose in what's called a Bragg peak. We can change the energy so we have what's called a spread out Bragg peak, but it's the way in which the energy is deposited. This can either be done by X-rays, protons or brachiotherapy. In the UK, 40% of patients who will be treated are children. And that's because one of the advantages of protons is that they put less dose into the healthy tissue. Because of the sharp distal end of the Bragg peak, you don't have any exit dose, which means it's great for treating tumours that are close to a critical organ. However, this is not the only area of research. Particle accelerators also generate X-rays, a medical electromagnetic imaging system that creates pictures of the inside of your body. The most common use of x-rays is checking for broken bones, but they can also spot pneumonia, or even certain types of cancer. Our linear accelerator is comprised of three main parts, an electron gun to produce the electrons, an accelerating cavity, and microwave RF source to produce the microwaves for acceleration. The electron beam interacts with the microwaves to accelerate along the cavity and then it can be bent by a dipole to create a, an X-ray source. X-rays create electrons by a process called bremsstrahlung. Electrons are accelerated to almost light speed, 0.96 C, into a very, very dense metal, something like tungsten. The electrons interact with the atoms at the centre of that and the nucleus decelerates the electrons and this deceleration loses energy and that has bremsstrahlung radiation so that's the process that's used. Particle accelerators are an incredible invention. One of the 21st century's most exciting frontiers of science, accelerator science has secured a key spot in the fight against cancer, the search for cleaner, greener energy options and our understanding of the universe. <laughs>